Hey everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to see how thermal paste actually affects the cooling capacity of a CPU. Will it actually get hotter if we don't put any thermal paste on? Is thermal paste just a gimmick? Well, we're going to find out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. Thanks again. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is clean the CPU with what's called Tim Clean. Uh, this is an Acasa product. It's basically citric based. It's uh, a liquid and it allows you to clean off the CPU, take all the thermal paste off of it. So you just dab a bit on the cloth, wipe it. And pretty much wipes it there. And as you can see, there's a quite a bit of paste stuck down the edges as well. I may just take the CPU out just to make sure it's 100% clean. Okay, that's pretty much as clean as we're going to get it. The processor of choice today is a Intel i7 9700K. Uh, or should I say KF version, that's the one what doesn't have the GPU built into it. Um, the motherboard we're using is a Z390 Aorus Elite motherboard. Uh, and the cooler we're actually going to be using is one from Arctic Cooling. Uh, it is the Freezer 7X. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is fit the mounting bracket, uh, which goes there. But with this cooler, unfortunately, because well, it's more to do with the motherboard, the way this um, heatsink is for the uh, NVMe SSD, it sort of presses up against where the clip's supposed to go. So I'm just going to clip it on this side first. There we go. Put that one in. 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 They're all in. And then that clip just needs to go over this side. And then it just needs screwing down. There we go. It takes a second for it to screw down and grip onto the CPU. So tighten that side a little bit, and then we'll go this side. Sturdy. Okay, so that cooler is fully on. Okay, so that's all connected up, so let's turn it on and see how it performs. Obviously, it won't affect it turning on, but the question is, is how hot is it going to get? And what we're going to do, to make it nice and simple, is so the fan doesn't just ramp up in speed and give us roughly the same temperature because it knows it's getting hot. We're going to go into the BIOS and we're going to set the temperature for the CPU fans on manual. We're going to set the temperature running at 50% no matter how much usage it's getting. So it'll go up to about 92 degrees with a fan at 50%. We'll know if it gets too hot from that, uh, from the settings. But you can see here, just in the BIOS, the temperature of the CPU is running a little bit warmer than one you would normally get. So let's save that. So that's saved. I'm just going to restart the machine and then we'll see what sort of temperatures we're getting at. We're going to do 30 minute tests of the temperature. So we're going to do it at idle uh, temperature as well as uh, when the machine is under a full load and then compare the two together. The programs we are using 
uh, we're going to use hardware info and put that on for the sensors so that will tell us roughly the temp well will tell us the temperatures so CPU cores we can see along here um, they're roughly at the moment around about 32 uh, maxing out at 42 uh, obviously depending on what it's doing and then we're going to run pass mark which is an old test but it will run all the CPU cores uh, at 100% usage which is what it's set for there 100% usage for 120 minutes we're actually only going to get it run it for 20 uh, and then see what the temperatures are afterwards so we run that and just to show you the, how the CPU is performing so you can see it working flat out There we go, that's the test starting now. And as you can see here, the CPU cores, all eight of them, are ramping up to 100% usage. You can see there, and it's running at stop levels. I've not overclocked it, uh, just in case. And we can see straight away, temperatures are reaching 90 odd degrees. So, I don't think there's a question about it. That is quite hot. Okay, our test setup comprises of an Intel i7-9700KF processor, a Gigabyte Aorus Z390 Elite motherboard. We're also running 16 gig of memory, a Seagate Firecuda 520 SSD, as well as a few other bits and bobs, which is pretty generic. Um, but the basics is all tests are run in 15 degrees Celsius rooms. All the tests are run for 30 minutes each. The temperature is the average temperature at those tests. So, for example, if one core was 70, another core was 60, the average would be 65. But again, it's the average temperature over 30 minutes and the average temperature of all cores combined. All the voltages are fixed for the testing, so there's no fluctuation, and we make sure that the CPU, obviously, when it is under load, is under 100% load, and all cores are being stressed. Uh, we don't test the fans on automatic mode, because that sort of defeats the object, because if you've got a bad cooler, it will basically run the fans faster to get roughly the same temperature. So we run the tests at 50%. On all tests, the test machine is running the same version of Windows with Windows updates disabled, so there's no differences for any reason with any updates causing problems in the background or differences for whatever reason. That goes for the same for the drivers, and all background programs are also disabled so that we can basically test it under a controlled environment as much as possible. So here are the test results, and as you can see, with the paste, we're getting roughly around about 23 degrees. Uh, without the paste, we're getting up to around about 28 degrees. So at idle temperatures, there's not a huge amount of difference. Again, the fans are set at 50%, and this is an average of all cores over 30 minutes, as we said before. Now, this is the bit what's real testing, it's as we up the processor to work at flat out for 30 minutes and as you can see here there's a huge difference with paste nearly halves the temperature so we're looking at roughly 56 57 degrees with the paste but it shoots up to nearly 94 degrees celsius without the paste so as you can see from these tests it's highly recommended you do use paste on your CPU cooler, otherwise it's going to, well, potentially cause it to crash, and then potentially in the future it'll cause the actual CPU to fail or die. Um, so yeah, do put paste on that, it does make a huge difference, and it's not some marketing scam just to sell you some form of paste.